Welcome back to Super S Sister Circle Live. It's time for my favorite segment. My girl, Dana Canada, deputy edi editor of Boss Up is here, and she's going to give us everything <laughs> that happened fresh off the presses yes. for Valentine's Day. Yes. A lot took place over the weekend. A lot took place. How was your Valentine's Day? Well, you just heard all about... I heard about, about the, the 24 Roses. <laughs> I heard Rashawn Ali went to... Uh, the JR chicken Pickett's. place, girl. Ain't no way in the world they would have been able to take me there. But they got a different type of relationship. <laughs> well, they, Meanwhile, they they've been there for 17 years. Right. So who am I? Who am I? Exactly. You know, I had a really boring Valentine's Day. But yeah, what happened? You know what? I was, I was like Rashawn. I went to just some place kind of just normal. I went to Juicy Crab. Oh, got you the, went to Juicy got Crab. The, got the Juicy Crab hot, wet, <laughs> you know, but it was, it is what it is. Extra a, potatoes and Extra eggs. potatoes <laughs> for Galentine's Day. So that was me. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, Galentine's Day is important as it well. Is. We it must is. tell Trina Braxton that. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this. Kim and Kanye, they took a lavish getaway. Yes. So one thing about Kanye is he does Valentine's Day right. Last year, you know, he had Kenny That's G beautiful. come and play for Kim Kardashian. This year, they took a really secret vacation to Cabo San Lucas, this has been confirmed, and they had this beautiful view by an infinity pool going out into the ocean, it was That's super lovely. romantic. And then after that, they hopped on a jet and went to Chicago for the All-Star Game. So, they had a jet well, packed you know weekend. What? Yay, <laughs> Yeezy. <laughs> You're showing the men up, honey. You really are. You're doing it right, though. He is doing it right. What about the other Kardashians? Okay, so next up we have Kylie Jenner. So Kylie, she had this Valentine's Day brunch with her girls, right? So she had these beautiful sunflowers everywhere. Um, she had lip-shaped balloons for her lip kits. And people are actually speculating that all those sunflowers came from Travis Scott. So those are actually Kylie's favorite flowers. And last year he got her a room full of roses. And people are like, what are you doing? She doesn't even like roses. So this year they had all these sunflowers. And people are like, did you buy them? But she has her own money. Why does she he does. have to sponsor the she sunflowers? She does, but, but people are speculating that since he's trying to reconcile with her, he's trying to make it up. Like, okay, look at all these beautiful sunflowers. Mm. I still want to be with well, you. Well, what did he do to her? Did he cheat on her? They never really confirmed it. Mm. There were rumors that there was this other girl who looked a lot like Kylie. But we don't we don't mm. really know what happened there. And Miss Chloe. Yes, Chloe Kardashian. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, of course, Tristan Thompson wants to get back with Chloe. So he gave her a little shout out on Instagram. It was really cute, but also... A shout out. A sh <laughs> That's how you're going to get Back with a shout out. A shout out on Instagram, okay. but Chloe spent it with her daughter True, and she had Pretty. baskets for True. Isn't she adorable? Gorgeous. She had gift baskets for True, and one was from mommy, one was from daddy, Tristan Thompson. So they did their little mother daughter thing That's for the so holiday. Sweet. Yes. But they said Justin Bieber got the yum yum. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> did. So this is, now this is probably the most interesting Valentine's Day gift I've ever seen. So his wife, Haley, actually bought him a Dan Life Design 12,000 crystal, $10,000 dream sickle. So it's not like a chain, it's just like art that they can put up in their house. So people were like, well, that's really expensive. But the artist is known for doing this. He actually designed Shakira's boots for the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. He made actually a Beanie Baby like that for Kylie Jenner. So he is known for these designs. Justin's clearly a fan, and she was like, okay, well. Well, why didn't he put any crystals on the stick? I, I don't because know. Because if I'm just going to be iced out, you yeah. just ice me on. All the way, ice, ice me, me out. out. <laughs> you know, like. I, ice me out. No, I don't, I mean, I guess it's, I don't know. Artist integrity, I don't know what it is. I wouldn't do it myself. Mm. Well, Ludacris and his boo really loves movies. Okay, this was really cute. So Ludacris and Adoxy. They had this beautiful romantic Valentine's Day. He rented out an entire theater for her. They had 71 seats in the theater. In the theater, 69 of those seats had gifts on them for her. So she Aww. got to go to every. Isn't that sweet? Now, see, that's how every you do suite, it. Every seat and pick out a gift. Before that, they had dinner, they had brunch, and they watched three movies. They watched The Photograph. They watched Just Mercy and Bad Boys. This, so see, this cute. is how you do. You know what? And it's not about all of the gifts. Yeah. What's most impressive is the thought that he put he into it. And very Mary to get that, thoughtful. like think about it, you yeah. know? Clearly she's a movie lover and he was like, I want to make this extra special for you. So it turned out really well. It was really, really cute. All right, let's talk a little bit about Lil Wayne before we get to the break. Okay, so Lil Wayne is engaged to Letitia Thomas. And Letitia actually made things official on Valentine's Day. Hmm. You can see on her Instagram, they posted their first official picture together. Now they Ooh. were spotted out at Super Bowl, but this is the first time we have seen these two actually make it official on their social media pages. So this was really special. And Wayne and Letitia, we don't know how long they've been dating, but they actually have matching tattoos. She has a stick of dynamite on her finger, and he of course has it on his face, because he's Lil Wayne. But yeah, they're, they're doing their thing. Now the, really the dynamite is synonymous. What's the significance there? Is I there guess they were, an inside they were 
relationship is the bomb, girl, I guess. So <laughs> they got okay. the dynamite. <laughs> well, I'll go for that. Okay, listen, guys, stay right there. We'll be right back with more of the scoop with Danny and all of the engagements and secret weddings, honey. Stay right there. We are back on Sister Circle Live with Deputy Editor Danny Canada. Yes. And we got a couple more stories we want to get to really, okay. really quick. Um, let's talk a little bit about Maya. Maya. Is she married or not? Nah? Yeah. So Maya, <laughs> Maya might have duped everybody. So Maya, this picture surfaced of Maya on a beach looking beautiful with all this tool, yes. this beautiful white gown, and rumors circulated that she was married. So people were congratulating her, and she promised to reveal who she married on Valentine's Day. So people were anticipating this, like, who did Maya get married to? We've been waiting forever. Valentine's Day comes, and she drops a music video. And it's called The Truth, even though she wasn't telling the truth. And she oh. married herself. So she plays two brides in a the video. There's a bride in black, there's a bride in white. And then in the end, she's up there talking to the officiant and she marries herself. That's well, that, that's the big that's, reveal. Uh, that's a true definition of uh, <laughs> self-love. That is, so, I mean, it's all about self-love, right? How so about she, that? She put on a dress Now, for being a part, Maya was dead wrong for that, but being a part <laughs> of, um, the Bravo family, you know, mm -hmm. I actually got an email in regards to this. Now, I don't Ooh, know who thought it was fitting to send an email out, but it was a whole long dissertation. Really? Yes, about, you know, Real Housewives uh, Platonic. Yeah. Uh, Giselle and Jamal Bryant yes. said something about a fake storyline. Now, somebody took it so far. I mean, literally, I got an email. I, I'm like, who? A who, whole who's email. email. Like, what's up with that? Girl, so. Quickly. Jamal and Giselle know seconds. that you think that their relationship <clears throat> is fake. And they played this up on Valentine's Day. They posted this picture of themselves, the storyline and the plot. And they're saying uh, it's not fake despite what you may think, so. Love it. Guess what? If you want more conversations like this, you want to keep up with Boss Up on all social media platforms. And of course, everything continues on Sister Circle. Uh